Well, we have some frightening pictures to show you now of another potential tragedy unfolding in the Adriatic Sea near Greece. A large ferry with hundreds of people on board is on fire. And for passengers, the flames are much too close for comfort. Have a look. These are cell phone pictures from inside the ship posted on an Italian news website. They show anxious people wearing life jackets with an inferno burning just a few meters away behind a wall there. One person has already died trying to escape the ship. And Italian officials have confirmed that there is a Canadian on board. And these are aerial pictures of the scene near the island of Corfu. Tugboats are fighting the fire and they're trying to tow the ferry closer to shore. Italian, Greek and Albanian ships are nearby, ready to take on rescued passengers. 150 were able to escape in a lifeboat so far, but bad weather is now forcing rescue crews to use helicopters instead, which means a slow evacuation, two or three people at a time. When the fire broke out, there were about 500 passengers and crew on board the ship. Well, freelance reporter Maria Kagalidu is in Athens with more on this dramatic developing story. So, Maria, what's the latest on the rescue operation? Well, the Norman Atlantic, that is the name of this very, very big ferry, is being uh, towed uh, to port, uh, tilting and in flames. Uh, there's still well over um, 300 people, I think, on board. Overall, there were 478 passengers on this boat. At least 165 have been rescued. But during the rescue efforts, a Greek man uh, passed away. Um, so far, uh, we're seeing messages, we're seeing photos being sent, we're seeing videos being sent from mobile phones from the people on board. They're saying they are aboard a, an inferno. Uh, they're obviously very, very uh, scared for their lives and about and for what is going to happen. The Greek authorities and the Italian authorities have been trying to rescue them since early this morning, but uh, the weather was very bad. There were there were gale force winds blowing, so it was impossible to actually approach the ship. Uh, now, as you said, they're using helicopters. The Greeks are using more than eight helicopters. Now, the, these helicopters, most of them can rescue two people at the time. One of them can rescue six people at a time. So uh, it's slow going and the authorities, both in Greece and in Italy, are uh, fighting. Uh, they're giving a fight. Um, they're racing against the clock to rescue these people because nobody's quite sure what is going to happen to this vessel. There are reports that uh, there are um, trucks full of oil burning up uh, in uh, the garage of this boat, in the car deck. Uh, and obviously this is making things worse. So this is a race against time. Yeah, no question. Maria, you mentioned uh, we also saw that video, cell phone video of what passengers are up against. What are you hearing uh, about the conditions? What are people going through on that burning ship? Well, they're obviously terrified. As we've said, this has been going on now for more than 15 hours. Um, they've been reporting that, that the boat, the ship, has been getting hotter and hotter, that the floors are burning up. Um, uh, they've been waiting to be rescued and, and they've been seeing a, a lot of boats, all the boats in the vicinity actually approached this ferry, as well as many planes and many helicopters, but none of them has been able to approach close enough to, to evacuate a large number of people. So uh, we're seeing... Um, people being transferred um, bit by bit. And the ones remaining there, they're phoning their relatives, they're phoning television channels, and they're saying that conditions are uh, worsening all the time. I think they're uh, even more scared now that the boat has tilted. Uh, so we're all waiting to see what will happen to them. Most of these people were going on a holiday. The majority of people on this vessel are Greek, but there's also people from... Turkey, from uh, Germany, from uh, Britain, from Canada. There's a Canadian on board. So uh, this holiday has turned very sour for them. Yeah, and it is, as you mentioned, a deteriorating situation. I know you're keeping an eye on it for us, Maria. Thank you very much for this. That's reporter Maria Kagalidou in Athens.